All right, so it's Thursday or Wednesday today, and we're here at the truck stop towing the trailer to go trade it in to get our new one. We're getting a 40 foot open range. So when we move to Texas. What do you think about it? What? Are you excited to get a new one? Yeah. It has like bunk beds. It does have bunk beds, this, but so did this one. But this one had no ladder and the other one does. We get to put a TV in there. That's true. So anyways, we're about an hour away. And yeah. This is it. Get us all hooked up. Be in it. There's the old one. See you later, old one. Alright, so we're on our way home. Had to stop by Camping World. Buy some new accessories because when we got out of the old camper, we threw all the hoses and all of it away because that stuff doesn't last long so anyways I had to stop here get some fuel I'm getting like 10 miles of the gallon pulling this thing but surprisingly for as big and heavy as it is I think it tows better than the last the last one that was smaller on our way back home well we got it to the base RV park but the dealership had to replace this lid on top of the jack because when they transported it it broke off and when they did that they did not give me the key to this jack so I cannot get it open so I guess it's time for brute force we'll see all right, so quick update first. We got this jack fixed. So the side had some rivets on it, had to drill them out so we could get in there because they didn't give us the key for this lock. So we gotta get that fixed. But we, this thing is so heavy that it just smashed this concrete block and we put the jack on it. So that was fun. But anyways, gonna do a quick little walkthrough. Chloe's gonna help me out. Yeah. This thing is uh, oh, 40 guys, feet we, long, so that we went from. Guys, I got my COVID test today. Yeah, Chloe had to get a COVID test so she could go back to school. It was a kid in her class, so she had close contact. So she's feeling good, doesn't have any symptoms, just a precaution so she can get back to school. Anyway, this one's 40 feet. Weighs 11,000 pounds or so. Our last one was a Jayco 267 BHS. It was uh, like 26 feet, maybe Whoa. six or 7,000 pounds unloaded. Uh, I got this big outdoor kitchen thing here that we will probably never use. I think we are, are more, would rather have it be a outside storage that we can put stuff because yeah won't use it got a cool little rack thing got to figure out the new sewer hose this one has two connections outside Just gotta get it into a Y connector little bitty storage spots on the outside now these they have to have, give us the key big that. steps coming in got this big couch that we plan to get rid of and just put two regular chairs and then the table kitchen table so that's gonna go 
Got a little kitchen island. Now we're gonna come into Daddy and Mommy. Kitchen. We're gonna Big come fridge. Some pantry space. That's Mel's favorite spot. It's up there for some reason. She really likes it. TV. I think that's gonna be upgrade number one. It's got this. I don't even know what size it is, but it's little. So we gotta get a big TV in there. I don't think we can put too big, maybe a, I don't know. Don't even, gotta measure it. All right, so this is gonna be the kids' room back here. I put a blanket up here. Got a bed that folds down up here. I have a blanket up here. This is gonna be Chloe's bed. She has claimed it. I have claimed it first. And it's got this couch down here. I know. Where? Wait, Dad. Where got a couple big drawers. Dad. Big wardrobe. And it's got this dinette, and you can. It's got storage underneath those benches as well. And then See? we'll probably take that little TV that's out there and put it in here for you Chloe. Can, you can know that it has storage. All right. So then moving up here, where all the magic happens. Got this queen bed. Don't look in the bathroom yet. Big closet. Our last one had two little cabinet things on the opposite sides of the bed, and that was our only closet. So this one has a big, big closet. It's got this thing here. A lot of other people like this, but I have no idea what we'd use it for. There's no way I'm putting laundry down there because then I got to dig it out. And speaking of laundry, if I can get it open, it's got a spot for a washer and dryer. What? That box right there. So we're going to get a washer and dryer. We're actually picking it up tomorrow. The dealer yeah. ordered it. Yeah, they said that they had it in, but they actually didn't. So they're going to deliver it to me tomorrow because they said it's going to be delivered today. And here's the bathroom. Not much storage, but not too bad. We're gonna switch to the oh, and I also, we're gonna switch to the Turkish towels because they're really thin. Hey guys! And we'll be able to wash them a lot easier than a big towel. So shower. We got a shower head to go in there. It's a very perfect space. And we're gonna hang this thing up on the very wall. We had one of these in our last one, and it works really good. It has Although Mel. She, uh, she goes a little crazy at Bath and Body Works, so she's got like bottles of soap all over the floor for the flavor of the day. So maybe, I'm into maybe the she door. can, I don't know. So anyways, that's it. Gonna move this thing to Texas. Mel got a job offer yesterday, so gonna move it to Texas next month and then I'm getting out and we're gonna we're gonna RV camper life it for a little bit till we can find a house that we like and buy it right now the market just sucks there and it's definitely a seller's market you have to put in like 10 offers just to try to get one and then you end up with a house that you don't really want you just got a house to have a house so we did the RV camper life thing for almost three years in our smaller one while we were in Texas. So we decided to upgrade and we're gonna do this. But until then, peace.